Hey friends, do you ever clean your ear or remove wax from your ear on this kind of instrument? So I got something special for you. In this particular video, I'm going to be talking about dangers of removing wax from your ear with this kind of instrument. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be talking about best way that can help you to remove the wax from your ear or to clean your ear. So make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever we drop something new on this particular YouTube channel. Now without any further ado, let's get into details. Hello friends, welcome to International Medical TV. Like I said in the introduction of this video, today I want to be talking about dangers of using Q-tube or cotton strip to your ear. So if you have ever removed the wax from your ear or clean your ear with a Q-tube, or if you have a family or a friend member that has ever removed a wax from his ear, so make sure you watch this video from the beginning up to the end, because I'm sure it will be helpful for you. First of all, let's talk about what is Q-tube. This is kind of instrument or device which is convenient to remove the wax from the ear. Also, it is very cheap because there are 15 naira in my society. You can get a single bag of Q-tube. So many people are using Q-tube to clean their ear or to remove a wax from their ear, but they don't notice cause more harm than good. So if you are using a Q-tube to remove the ear wax, so you have to know that that cause more harm than good because using Q-tip or cotton salt can cause so many health issues like a tinnitus. Tinnitus is kind of hearing of normal sound in your ear like a ringing and waving or whistling. And sometimes it causes otitis external and otitis media. And sometimes when you use the Q-tube and you push the wax directly into your tympanic membrane. And due to this reason, sometimes it causes a tympanic membrane rupture. So you have to stop using Q-tip because it's very dangerous. Instead of removing the wax from your ear, you are pushing it into your ear as you can see in this particular video. So that is why I'm advising you to stop using Q-tip from your ear. And if you have excessive wax, so you have to watch this video from the beginning after the end. Because like I said earlier, I'm going to be sharing with you the best way that can help you to remove wax from your ear. Don't forget using Q-tip to your ear it is very dangerous because sometimes it can cause so many health issues like I said earlier. And if it is left untreated, it can cause a rupture of your tympanic membrane. So that is why you should be cautious. If you are having excessive words, just you have to go directly to the hospital and see someone that is specialized in this kind of problem. So don't stay at home because you are going to damage your hearing. Now let's talk about three best ways that can help you to remove the wax from your ear. Contrary to people believe, having wax is very good to your ear and is part of your ear cleaning activity. If you are having excessive wax in your ear, so you should not be worried because the wax is preventing the dust in your ear. Also, it prevents a foreign body from entering into your ear. Also, it prevents you from so many health problems and you don't know that. So if you have excessive wax in your ear, you should not be worried. And this is normal, it is part of your air cleaning activity, so you shall not be worried. And if you want to remove the wax from your air, so you have to do these three things that I'm going to share in this video. So you have to do one, and if it is not working for you, you have to try the another one. So then to do all the three best methods that I'm going to share at once. Okay, so let's go. The first one is using warm water. Immediately after taking a shower, you have to get a cloth and rub it around your ear and get a cotton soap and clean outside of your ear. I don't say you shall clean inside your ear. If you are doing this to you reduce your chances of getting an airwax and it can prevent you from having a various health problem. The second way to remove the airwax from the air is using hydrogen peroxide. Using hydrogen is the most effective way to remove the air wax from the air. Hydrogen is able to remove the suitable air wax in the air. So if you have excess wax in your air, you have to get a one mole of hydrogen and one mole of a water and dilute it in a special place and get a drawer and put it in your air. Lay down for about one to three minutes. So after one to three minutes, you have to wake up and tell your head down and pour the water and sure it will remove all the air wax in your air. 
the third way that can help you to remove the excess waste in your air is using salt water. If you are having an excess amount of the air wings in your air, so you have to get a teaspoon of a salt and get a cup of a water and put the amount of the salt in the water and start gently let the solution be diluted. After that, then get a small amount of the sample and put it in your air for about two to three minutes and calm down gently i'm sure that it will remove out all the air works in your ear here we have come to the end of this video if you found it educative and helpful make sure you support it by liking commenting and sharing this video to your family and friends and if you follow this video that i've shared in this video that can help you to clean your air and turn the air was having to work for you so you have to rush directly to the hospital and go and see a someone that is specialized in removing of the air rocks. So in the next video, have a nice time.